Hi, my name is Marta and welcome to my beginner friendly yoga class for all levels and abilities. Today we're gonna need a comfortable clothing, as usual, a mat or a rug, something to pad our knees and our hands, and two blocks or big books, something stable that we can put our hands on, and just a bit of good attitude. So let's get started. So let's begin coming to a cross-legged position to sit down, arrive here and begin to relax, connect with ourselves, forget about what's surrounding you, focus on the inside, the thoughts and the feelings, try to tap into your inner world, you can close your eyes, that will definitely help to get inside, make it easier to listen and begin to take long inhalations and very deep and very slow exhalations to let your body know that it's all good and it's time to relax. Take a deep inhalation and exhale in your own pace as slow as you possibly can. Inhale again. And exhale very slowly. Try to keep being aware of your breathing and trying to expand your lungs and retract, taking full breaths. That will help you become connected with your body and kind of join everything together. And from here, let's move to all fours. So bring your knees underneath your hips and your hands underneath your shoulders. And let's begin with some gentle cat cows. I'm gonna move the blocks away so you can see me. So on the inhale, drop your belly and lift your head up. Push the mat away with your hands. And on the exhale, round your back, lift your heart space up and try to grow from your shoulder blades. And again, inhale, drop your belly. Belly button is being drawn all the way down. And head lifts up. And exhale, lift up. Lift your chest. Grow from your spine, round your spine, head down. And again, inhale. Belly down, look up and exhale, chest up, head down and grow and slowly make your way back to center and here we begin to move our spine in other directions so lift your right hand and put it on the bottom of your head so you're bending your elbow and you're supporting yourself with your left hand on the floor if that's getting really challenging already then grab your block and place your hand a little bit higher so you develop more give yourself more space from here and we begin to with inhale lift your right elbow up and exhale, move it down. You can try to touch your elbows together. And inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Try to touch your elbows again. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, release. 
and last time inhale lift up and exhale release release your right hand down to the floor move the block away and we'll change sides so now your left hand goes behind the head bottom of the head so top of the neck more or less here and let's begin inhale lift up open through your chest and exhale release you can come back to your block on this side as well depends how your body feels and on inhale we lift up exhale release do more like that inhale to lift up push yourself away from the right hand up the arm is engaged exhale bring it down and one last time inhale to lift up and exhale to release down and here try to make begin to make some circles with your body moving your wrists left to right we still at a warming up stage and change direction whichever way we were going now we go the other way around okay and now let's warm up the spine so from here we'll be extending our um, parallel no we'll be extending our hands and legs on a diagonal so extend your left leg at the same time as the right arm i'm just demonstrating now so no worry and releasing and then we'll change the sides um, but let's um, let's try first how you feel about that because i have a really cool trick to help you make it easier so let's begin with extending our left leg and the right arm if that feels very wobbly that that is where the block comes in so if you put it on on your lower back that will send a signal to your head to give you a bit of a feedback it can be also a book if you don't have a block that's no problem uh, so that will give you a little bit of a feedback of the position of your back therefore it'll be much easier to stay balanced here because this is not really how we naturally spend most of our time so so our head gets a little bit confused so let's try it like this so extend your left leg and right arm and see if that helped if that improved i hope it is much better like that and release extend the right leg leg is straight and left hand forward and slowly release we'll try on the other side right arm left leg now hold stay stable here and slowly release and move to the other side extend your right leg left arm and hold here feel your best belly muscles activating and slowly release you can put your blog away to the side and from here maybe oh that's much better okay so um next step we will go for high lunge so step your right foot in between your hands then tuck your toes under for more stability so just try to look at your toes whichever way um, and see if all your toes are closely glued to the floor look at your knee see if that's a comfortable and stable position for you 
and begin to lift up. Lift up here, you can place your hands on your knee and notice how you feel here, which muscles are working. And next step, if you're feeling stable, you can lift your hands up above head and look up. Looking up is optional because that's challenging the whole balance on another level. And if you want to go a step further, you can bring your hands to your waist and lift up your back knee. And stand here. Your, both of your legs are working really hard. Try to keep your legs aligned the way they were on the floor and slowly release left knee down and bring your right leg back and we change sides bring your left foot in between the hands tuck your right toes under and again we're trying the other side it might be very different from from the previous side so so just with a beginner's mind see how you feel about that and begin to lift up your torso bring your hands to your left knee if you're stable here you want more lift your hands up overhead and look up you can always take a step back bring your hands to the knee again but if you could here as well the next level would be lifting your back knee up and growing into high lunge position. Keep looking up, you can bring your hands together if there is space and try to find stillness here for a couple of breaths. Keep breathing fully and exhale, slowly release. Your hands land in front of the mat, bring your left leg towards the back and from here bring your knees wide, your toes together and sit back on your heels in child's pose, your hands stay extended and bring your head towards the floor. You can either place your forehead or your chin on the mat and relax here for a couple of breaths. We're letting our back and shoulders open a bit more here. And it's also really beautiful restorative position if you just really need some calming down this is a really nice place to be and slowly begin to make your way back up and from here our hands are extended beyond our shoulders so let's say shoulder is here right your hand is a little bit further away bring your knees underneath your hips and lift your hips up Bring your heels down towards the mat or downward facing dog. You can move, bend your knees, feel the position, how it works in your body. If your knees are bent, that's no problem. If your heels are away from the floor, that's also not problem. This is your dog now and today and this is really just good. <laughs> Just normal, it's all a journey. Okay, and from here, let's step our right leg to the front first and keep your back knee away from the mat. So that's already a next step. Turn your back toes to point towards the left side of the mat and your heel lands on the floor. You can maybe walk your 
foot a little bit closer forward because we we're heading for warrior two. So begin to lift up your torso. Both of your heels are on the floor and open up. Your right hand is in the front. Look towards your fingers. Your left hand is also extended. So we're creating that parallel line, parallel to the floor, to the mat. And look to your right fingers and beyond. And that is your warrior two. Come back to your breath here. Deep inhale and long and slow exhale. We're letting our body know that it's all good here. And slowly begin to lift your hands up, straighten your front knee and look towards the ceiling. And extend your hands, your legs stay straight. And now you look to your right hand again and begin to reach forward with your right hand and land. This is a good moment to grab the block and bring it on the inside of your right foot. And that's a great point for your right hand to land for a triangle. So extend here and look up towards your left fingers and slowly lift up, bring your block away to the side. We land our fingers on the mat where the right foot is now and we step the right foot back, coming back to our dog. You can move again, maybe click your fingers, notice how your ankle feel, your calves and hamstrings. And from here, step your left foot forward. Left foot forward, find your, find your position, stability here. And again, we're gonna turn our back foot so our heel can land on the mat and maybe bring the foot a little bit closer so you have enough grip on the mat to come to the warrior two position. Keep your front knee bent. You begin to lift your torso up. Find stability here. You can hold your hands on your waist or you can extend them for a full expression of warrior. Just gaze at your left and your right hand if they all aligned and your face is turned to the left. You look at your left fingers. Embrace the shake of your muscles. Feel the power growing in that buoyant position, in that proud warrior too. And slowly straighten your leg, bring your legs Bring your hands above your head and look up, you can join them. Take a slow exhalation. And again, now keeping your legs straight, we extend our hands and start reaching forward with your left hand. Now you can grab the block, bring it inside and your right, left hand lands on the block. Reach up with your right hand and look to these fingers, to the ceiling. Keep your legs engaged, your kneecaps lifted. And breathe here again. And slowly begin to release. Put your block away to the side, hand land, hands land on the floor where your right left foot is and step it back to downward facing dog again. Maybe now if you find some stillness, 
feel the opening in your shoulders, in your arms, your chest, but also the calves and the hamstrings. And from here, we will gently release the knees to the mat, move over to one side and bring our legs in front of us. A little bit bent, keep them a little bit bent because uh, that will be easier to reach with our hands. So we're heading now for Paschimottanasana with your index and middle finger Put it in between where flip-flops go and grab it from the outside with your thumb and slowly begin to walk your heels away as much as you can. If your, legs, if your knees are away from the floor, that's completely fine. If you have block or maybe a blanket, you can also give yourself a little bit of support here because this pose is also beneficial if the legs are not extended. This is what we're working towards, but this is obviously not how we are today. And that's absolutely perfect. So keep pulling your toes towards yourself with your hands. Try to keep your back straight. This is more important here than keeping having your legs straight. We are strengthening the back muscles and again, come back to your breath here. And over time, you might develop a bit more space. So maybe you can remove the block. Maybe you can straighten your legs. Wherever you are, this is your place to be today. So embrace it. And just think about all of it more as a process. If you keep showing up to the mat, this is eventually where you'll be able to get. You can release your head a little bit and relax here. And slowly begin to push yourself away you sit up again and from here we'll find our seated position of your choice it can be cross-legged a hero so kneeling with um, like sitting on our hips wherever you're comfortable you can also again use the block here to sit up on it and Make it more cushy, it can also be a pillow. Bring your hands to your knees. Also, you can close your eyes again and breathe here again. Keep coming back to your breath, the most powerful tool you always carry with you. Notice the quality and the temperature of the air in the room. Notice how your nostrils grow bigger when you inhale and how warm they are when you exhale. hope you enjoyed our short practice today and thank you so much for choosing my video. I hope to see you again soon.